Okay, let's talk about a serious screw-up wedding photographers make. Um, I've been shooting for years. Um, they have a portfolio. They obviously show people. They have three packages, typically, sometimes more. Um, they'll uh, have a one or two assistants, uh, but they're always missing something. This is something that every wedding photographer should be doing and using, and everybody that I've done a wedding for with this loves it because it is part of human psychology. Everybody's typical to the large picture. Oh, there's the bride and groom, there's the wedding reception, there's, you know, the bride, there's the best man. Oh my god, there's a picture of the cake. Um, human mind, especially the subconscious mind, sees snippets and details. Okay, and uh, there's two things that they like that you are not doing in your wedding photography, but you should. Here we have a fisheye, and here we have a macro lens. You're thinking, oh crap, what are you talking about? I got a 24 to 70 for my weddings, and a 70 to 200, and I've got a wide zoom. What the crap do I need a macro lens and a fisheye lens for at a wedding shot? Well, it's the same reason that you put pepper on your steak, or the same reason you put ketchup or mustard on your hamburger. It is the same reason you use balsamic vinegar when you're making your special whatever the hell on the stove. It is the same thing in your wedding package. Okay? People love this. They always flip out. It's like, oh my god, that's one of the best shots. I love that. That's awesome. And what am I talking about? It's the shots that you're not doing. And basically 99% of wedding photographers are not doing this. And everybody that I do this for loves it. They love it. Okay? Here's one example. Oh my god, what's that? It's fish eye. Oh, gee, that makes sense. Oh, look, another macro shot wedding. Oh, that's so memorable. I want an 8x10 of that. That's just so unique. That says it all. Uh, oh, look at that. Awesome. Macro shot. Oh, hmm. oh, those are the cups, cakes we served at the reception. I remember those little cute details. Human consciousness, okay, is not always... They love little detail. They remember something about the vehicle that they drove back when they were a teenager and it had this certain little detail. Human consciousness is a patchwork of little fine details. And you can't get that with any of your typical wedding lenses. You've got to have a macro. Oh my god, that's awesome, that's so memorable, that says it all about our wedding right there. That really completes our wedding. Oh god, I remember those fine details in the wedding cake. Oh, that's just incredible. Fish eye shot. Here is one time that people complain about distortion and vignetting and they talk about sharpness. Okay, sharpness, yeah. of course this isn't an issue about sharpness here. But uh, the thing that everybody concerns themselves with uh, distortion. Oh, you can correct for fisheye distortion in Photoshop. Sometimes you don't want to correct for it. Now there's a trick to using a fisheye, and here is one reason where distortion is awesome. Okay? You see how everything is bent right here towards the bride? This is called using a lot of distortion effectively and compositionally correctly. Oh, yeah. Everything it's coming right to the bride. Oh my god, that's awesome! I'll pay extra for that shot. I want 10 prints of that. I want to send 20 prints to some... Fish eye. Learn how to use distortion. Okay? Not to get rid of it, but how to use it. Distortion and blur are not bad things. This is an art form, okay? This is not like saying, ah, uh, you know, uh, your engine is running fine, but we can make it run really crappy for you if you want. This is an art form. Okay, it's an art form. People love this. This is called using distortion effectively. You know, we can make your engine and your car run really crappy, and we can uh, distort the pistons so that they don't cycle properly. Nobody wants that. But a lot of photographers, these pixel peeping peckerheads, oh, I gotta have perfect shots, it's gotta be perfectly sharp, there's gotta be no vignetting, no distortion. To hell with that! People love this stuff. Bring a fish eye. Oh, look, another fish eye shot. Do you get the point here? Learn how to exploit these lenses. These little peppers, these little spices that you throw in your wedding package with a macro. And a fisheye. 
are what people love. It is like getting a hamburger and it's going, well, it's the same hamburger, but there's something missing about it. I like it and it tastes good, but it's just incomplete. Oh, you're missing the ketchup and the mustard. The macro shots. The fisheye shots. Oh my god, I want a hundred prints of that. How much do you charge? I gotta have a hundred prints of that. Well, ma'am, that's gonna run you a thousand dollars. Oh, it's okay. Print me off a hundred of those, twenty by thirty. You see what you're missing in your wedding photography? Yes. These are actually important tools. I'm not telling you, I'm not saying make up 5% of your wedding uh, package with these lens. I'm talking, you know, a dozen shots total. Okay? A dozen shots. People eat this up. They love it. Nobody's hauling a fisheye or macro lens to wedding shoot. Now, there are a few, but... Uh, you can be counted on one hand. People are starting to realize more how useful these are. But, uh, it's like this is a secret trick. Oh my god, this makes so much sense. People love this. When you add these shots to your final product, you're going to go, Oh my god, my, my sister Jill's wedding is next month, and you've, your, your wedding portfolio that you've given us, the package, is just so awesome. You know, I don't know what there is about it, but it's just awesome. It's the... Uh, it's the uh, macro shots that I took of your cake and your wine glasses and your wedding rings and the fish eye, the fish eye shots of uh, your reception. They don't know that, but they know they love the package. So, next wedding shoot, bring a fish eye, bring a macro. I just showed you why. I showed you the reason why, the how, the when, the where, the why. They love it. Okay? The more they love it, the more they spread the word. You want to make money in wedding photography? Bring a fish eye. Bring a macro. I told you what to do with them. Now go out and get it and go out and do it. Catch you later. Bye.